Good afternoon, kindergarten. We are going to be working in module two in math, which begins on page 27. Now, Mrs. Turner um, got a head start on you guys and used pencil. So to teach you how to do this, I'm going to trace over what I wrote in pencil in with a Sharpie marker. So you're gonna follow my steps with the Sharpie marker, okay? Today we are going to represent numbers to five with a written numeral. That means that you are going to be able to write the numbers. Today we're going to count to find groups. Let's start with the kites. One, two, three. I am going to draw a line to the number that matches how many I counted. I counted three. Here is my line from the kites to the number three. Now I'm going to count the children holding the kites. One, two, three. My three children match my number three. Now I'm going to count the trees. One, two, three. Also matches three. Next, I want to count the children sitting on their bicycles. One, two, three, four. This group matches the number four. Finally, I'm going to count the family sitting down eating a picnic, having a picnic. One, two, three, four, five. This group matches the number five. Okay, let's turn the page. So this is the we do. We are going to explore numbers to four. Now, I didn't use a pencil on this page, so I'm gonna get off of the marker because you can see it made marks through my paper. I don't wanna do that again, so I'm gonna use my pencil. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to count the number in the group and circle the number that shows how many. So these are bunnies in this group. I have one, two bunnies. I can circle two, three, or four. Since I counted one, two, I'm going to circle the number two. One, two, three. Circle the number three. Circle the group that represents the number four. One, two, three. I'm not going to circle that group. There are not four, the number four. One, two, three, four. This group matches the number. I'm going to circle it. Count how many in each group. Draw a line to match the number to the group. One, two, three. My butterflies match this number. One, two, three, four. My orange butterflies match that number. One, two, three, four, five. My pink butterflies match that number. Okay, listen to the story. How would you represent the story? Write the number. A family brings a kite on their trip to the park. Now I know a kite is in the shape of a diamond or in kindergarten, you're going to call it a rhombus. Okay, there's my kite. Now, when you say a kite, a usually means the number one. A straight line down is so much fun. That is how you make a one. You notice how I went from the skyline down to the grass line. Next page, we're going to build for understanding. How many flowers are on the vine? Write the number. I don't see any flowers on this vine. When you see none, that is the number zero. Ride around like a superhero. That is how you make a zero. On this vine, I see one. A straight line down is so much fun. That is how you make a one. Here's an example. One flower, the number one. 
say the number, circle the vine that shows the number of flowers. This is one. This is the vine that shows the one flower. This is the number zero. This is the vine that shows the number zero. Count how many eggs in each nest and trace the number. I don't see any eggs in this nest. That means zero. Right around like a superhero. That is how you make a zero. I see one little white egg. That's one. A straight line down is so much fun. That is how you make a one. Count how many eggs in each nest and write the number. I see one egg. A straight line down is so much fun. That is how you make a one. I don't see any eggs. That is zero. Ride around like a superhero. That is how you make a zero. There is one duck in a pond. Circle the pond that shows one duck. Write the number of ducks in that pond. A straight line down is so much fun. That is how you make a one. Draw to show what you know about zero and one. Here is my pond. I don't have a duck in that pond. That is zero right around like a superhero. That is how you make a zero. Here is my pond. And here is my duck. One duck. A straight line down is so much fun. That is how you make a one. Now during this lesson, if some of this was hard, circle the star. If I understand each part of Mrs. Turner's lesson, circle the check mark. Next, you are going to go into your grade one HMH into math workbook and you are going to open up to page P11. You are going to complete the count and write zero and one page and P12, this page here. Take a picture of one page and upload it into Seesaw.